Hello, once again, welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to talk about for loops in Python. Remember, if you are new to this channel, remember to subscribe. And then, if you already subscribed, remember to hit that like button and support this channel and let a lot of people watch this video. Oh, we talk about the I talk about for loops in the previous tutorial, and then while loop basically repeats a block of code as long as a condition is true. But for loops basically I used to repeat a specific block of code a known number of times. So if you know the number of times that code is supposed to run, then you can go with the for loops. Okay. So basically, to use a for loop, just use a for keyword, and you have to have a variable. So what is going to happen is that if I create a variable and I call that variable i in, and I can specify a range. Okay. So if I type in adjective, for instance, my brand name, adjective, and I bring a colon. What is meaning is that this i is going to loop over this entire name adjective the brand name and it's going to print out every individual element i have within this brand name so if i come down here i can do anything with the i now so i can say print i so what it's going to do is i'm going to print every individual element in this name so if i print out this you can see that every individual element will be printed out in that order so basically this is a concept of loop and we can do something more advanced here so if i can i can just go up and then create a list so let's say i have a list of friends and the last time i created a list and i believe you know the concept of list if you don't know you can just go back to my channel and then check my python folder i have a playlist and then you can check the playlist of python you can see the concept of a list i've created a video tutorial on that and you can watch how lists have been created and how you can use them. So we have a list of friends and I can just type in some few names, separate them with a comma. And let's see, and there's a few names. So I'm just typing some names of my friends and uh, yeah. That is this. So these are just few names. We can easily use the concept of loops to just run through this and then we can print this out. So instead of using my eye, I can just say friends. So basically this friend you can say this is a similar version of friends. Okay. So this is a list of names of my friends. And I can say this friend is now going to loop over. The list which I created, which is my friends. So now this is now going to be plural. So this is basically representing every this friend is now going to represent every individual element I have within this list. Okay. So if I come down here and I say print, so now if I call friends, it's now going to print every individual names I have within this list. So if I run this code, you can see I've printed this out. Okay, I've made a mistake over here. Basically, I just want to print just individual names. So this is supposed to put friend. Okay, so if I run this, I want to print every individual names. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. So you can see I'm printing out Timothy, Sarah, Rebecca, Eugenia, Eugene, sorry, Eugene, and then Marty. So if I keep updating my list, if I add in more list, if I add in more people to my list, because I know that range, I can easily loop through and print them out okay uh, so basically this is a concept of you can easily use numbers and it's actually going to work you can use numbers so this is it if i update this list and i print it it's still going to look through and then it will come it will print them out i can come here and then even if it's numbers i can equally do that for numbers and so if i can create a list of numbers and i can just put in some few numbers and I can look through as well using the for loop. So if I come down here, I can just say, let me call this numbers and then I can say number in numbers. So number in numbers. So that is the name of my list. Okay. And then I can print those numbers. So I can look through this and then print out every individual number. So you can see the concepts of loops. We know the number of range in which we're going to print that, and we know that, and then we can easily use 
for loops to do that. So basically, this is how loops can work in Python, and we'll be doing more advanced in this loop. I can let me do something easy for you. Let me just create an index. So this one, I'm going to call it index, and I'll create a range. You can even specify a range, and let's say range, and then you can just give a range. For instance, let's say ten. We want to print the first ten numbers, and once you specify a range, like I said, with for loops, you use to replace a specific block of code with no number of times. So we now create that range. That means we know the range in which you want to print. So I just can just call the index this way. And if I run this code, it's going to print from zero to nine without ten. Okay. So this is it. It's going to print from zero to nine within that range. You can also specify by saying two towards ten, but to print without what. 10, 10 will not be included so 2 to, 2 to 10 by 10 not inclusive and then you can run this code and it's going to print 2 to 10 so basically this is how for loops will work in python we going to cover the business and then we we'll type straight into developing real world applications and then you know how this is going to work that is why you need to subscribe so that you don't miss the amazing videos coming up on this channel we will talk more about mobile apps in my videos to come. Talk more about user interface. And you can't miss what is coming up. So you need to subscribe so you don't miss those things. Okay? Subscribe and then turn on the notification bell. So I come your way another time. It's your guy, Timothy. And I'll welcome you in my next tutorial. Bye-bye.